What's up guys, I want to do a quick tutorial on what I'm going to call advanced power shots. I think other people have called it a ground shot or something, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to call it advanced power shots. It's one of the most underrated ways to score and you can get a ridiculous amount of power on the ball if you do it right. You can get a really fast recovery, so overall it's a really good thing to learn, so let's get right into the video. Opponent, who's actually pretty good. I wasn't playing too great today, so... You know, we're going to have to take what we can get. This is something I've been doing a lot more lately. Pretty much all you got to do is roll the ball forward, get enough space to the side of the ball. The opponent's normally going to give you space if they think you're good enough to take a shot. So they'll respect your shot opportunity and give you enough time to cut in and take a nice power shot anywhere in the net. doesn't really matter where you are, but that is a very effective move, and you can get a shot just about anywhere if you perfect it. I'm going to go for the exact same move because he's giving me a lot of space. And like I said, it makes it really awkward for him. Another good thing about this move right here is even if he does get the save on it, he's up in the air and I'm still on the ground. I can go for his boost, I can take the ball, I can get a rebound if he makes a poor save. I'm just in a very good, advantageous position to get a shot on that after that play. So that's a very good thing to learn. If you guys don't know how to do that yet, definitely practice it because that is a very good skill to have. Alright guys, uh, that's about it for this video, so if you enjoyed it, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Obviously I was just joking around, this isn't actually the end of the video. That was a clip from Squishy Muffin's Road to Grand Champ series. I highly recommend watching that if you want to improve at 1v1. So in the clip he does two of the shots I kind of want to elaborate on. It's best to go for one of these kind of shots when the opponent is giving you a lot of space, whether he's going back for a boost or he's just defending from far away. Because you need a good amount of space to set up this shot. So basically when you have space to set up this shot, uh, you either want to hit the ball to the left or to the right a little bit at an angle. So in this case, I hit the ball to the right. So after I hit the ball to the right and I was sure the defender wasn't about to challenge me, I start to kind of widen the path uh, my car is taking compared to the ball. When I go to the side like this to give my car more momentum, I usually turn on ball cam so I can see like the opponent and the angle of the shot I want to take. Turning on ball cam also helps because you can see if the opponent is going to rush you and if he rushes you, you can just 50-50 it and regain possession. Pretty much the only way to stop this uh, shot is either rushing the ball or just having extremely good reactions and being a really good goalie. In this clip right here, uh, the opponent actually made a really good save and you can see from his view how fast he needed to react to save my power shot. So if the defender doesn't rush you before you can even get the shot off, it's extremely hard to save a well-placed power shot based on reactions, but it's still possible. Another thing I'd like to mention is, okay, remember when I said you need to take an angle touch either to the left or to the right? Well, you can strategically choose the way you want to go, and I'll try to explain it here. Basically, if you can catch the defender in a non-shadowing position, then you can really take advantage of that. So by that I mean if you can set up your shot where the defender is on the opposite side of your screen, then it's a lot easier to score because the defender really has to react to save it. In this case, I saw Gambit move to the left side of my screen to pick up some small boost pads, so I decided to move to the right to take my shot. So when it's time to take the shot, he's directly facing the ball, and that makes it extremely hard to save. It is still 100% possible to score when the defender is shadowing correctly and they're on like the same side of your screen, but I figured I'd tell you this tip to make your power shot even more effective. If you can catch the defender defending from the far side of their goal on the far post, then it's a lot easier for you to score. After you get a good setup for the shot, the shot itself is pretty self-explanatory, just drive into the ball at the fastest angle you can and try to generate the most power you can without shooting over the goal. Alright, so now you hopefully know how to set up and score an advanced power shot. So now I'm just going to talk about some of the advantages and some of the cool things about this move. One good thing about this move, which Squishy already mentioned this, is that 
the defender is in the air while you're on the ground after you take the shot so you can get a really really fast recovery after this and the defender has to use a lot of boost and and takes a lot of time to recover from that so if they do save the shot then you probably have enough time to take their boost and regain possession of the ball and keep throwing shots at them when they have low boost. I also like going for these power shots because in my opinion a lot of the time it is better than like going for a flick or something because whenever you do a flick it takes a while to recover afterwards because you have to flip into it. So whenever I play 1v1s I, I know I'm like known for flicks and stuff but I usually don't go for that many flicks I usually do a lot more of these and a lot more angled shots and stuff because these are a lot more effective in my opinion. Just in general, like a thing that really made my 1v1 game improve from like champion level to a grand champion level is just getting angles on the ball instead of going in like a straight line and trying to flick or shoot. Try moving the ball to the side a little bit and just cutting the ball and implementing different bounce dribbles into your game and stuff like that. That really helped me a lot. Alright, that's about a wrap for the video. So if you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like and comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Oh, I actually just made a training pack for advanced power shots too, so if you want to download it, uh, the link will be pinned in the comments.